downloading Active Inspire is quick and easy. In order to do so, you need to navigate to the following website, support.prometheanworld.com. Now you can type it in, just as you see here, you don't need the HTTPS or all those little uh, slashes, you just need the bit in white there, the text in white. If you don't want to do that, you can go straight to Google or a search engine and just search for Promethean Support. It will be the top link when you search for that. Now when you've gone to the website, as I'm going to do now, just here, all you need to do is scroll down to this screen. As you can see, I've added it in here as a little screenshot. Now when you click on Download Active Inspire, it will bring you to a new page, which is a Download Active Inspire language selection. Choose the language of your choice. I'm going to choose English and press Next. You'll then be asked to choose your operating system. In this case, I'm going to choose Mac because I'm doing this on a Mac, although it's very likely that if this is on a computer for a school, it's probably going to be a PC, so a Windows environment. But the process is identical. Choose Mac and then fill in your details. In this case, your first name, your last name, your occupation, and your country. The most important one here is the last one, and that's your email. When you've typed all this information in and agreed to the terms and conditions by ticking here, a new button will appear around here saying submit or complete. When you click on this, the process will be almost done. What, what will happen then? is Active Inspire or specifically Promethean will send you an email and it will look just like this. So we're now step three here. The email will look like this. It will be from do not reply at Promethean World. So if you haven't got it in a number of seconds, check your junk, but it should go straight to your inbox and it will have the following information here. Thank you for choosing to download Active Inspire. To start to download, please follow this link. Now, when you click on this link, it will automatically download what's called an installer. It will install Active Inspire, the program. Now, when you install or when you download the installer, you have to then go and find it in your download. You'll see it. It'll be called Active Inspire underscore en something like that. Or if it's a, on a, a Mac, it'll be called a DMG. But it'll be pretty easy to find. It'll be the the last thing you downloaded onto your computer. You double click on the installer and it will then install the, the software. You just walk through the steps, step by step. It's very, very simple. The whole process will take you maybe three to four minutes maximum. When it's installed, you'll be able to then open Active Inspire directly from your programs list on your computer or your applications list on your Mac. When you open up for the very first time, Active Inspire will display a little window that looks just like this. And it'll have username blank, organization blank and activ activation key blank. As you can see from my little screenshot here, they aren't blank on mine because mine have already been filled in. This is essentially um, making sure that Active Inspire has been licensed to use um, on your computer um, and that you have a key to use it. There is a free version which you've just downloaded, but the full version, the full fat version, has everything you want to use, all the bells and whistles and all the tools you need to have an activation key. Thankfully, if you have a Promethean Active Panel or Promethean Whiteboard, then you get a free um, license key or activation key for Active Inspire, which you can use directly on your computer. So for your organization and your username, it doesn't matter what you put down. But whatever you want down, it really doesn't matter in the slightest. For the activation key, you will find that physically on the panel, the Active Panel, or the interactive whiteboard. It's much easier to find on a panel because they're newer and they sort of are put in a, in a place that are a lot easier to find, but they are in interactive whiteboards too. Usually on a panel, they're at the back, but the back left-hand corner. Try the back right-hand corner as well. It'll be a white sticker and it'll have the, the phrase Active Inspire Activation Code. It'll look something like this. All you do is type in that code, press OK, and it will be unlocked, or at least you'll be able to use the full version of Active Inspire on your computer. Obviously, you can plug Active Inspire into your panel and then use it as a full screen version, essentially showing what is on your PC.